What's up guys, Dan here from Kilowatt Auto. So in today's video, I wanna talk about Tesla's blind spot monitoring system. And in typical Tesla fashion, the system is a little bit unconventional. And what I wanna do in today's video is get you the basic information that you'll need in order to effectively use the system. And we're gonna do that in under four minutes in our second episode of Four Minute Friday. Before we get started though, if you have any interest in learning more about Tesla or tracking the Model 3's progression to full self-driving, make sure you get subscribed. And if you end up enjoying today's video, be sure to hit the like button so others have an easier time finding it. Also, if you missed last week's video, I made more of a cinematic intro to my channel, so be sure to check that out. And I'll put a link in the description to that video down below. With all that said, let's put four minutes on the timer and jump right into it. So it's important to understand that Tesla's blind spot monitoring system is using the hypersonic sensors, which are located around the periphery of the car, as well as the repeater cameras, which are mounted behind the front wheels and look down the flanks of the car towards the rear. And these two systems coupled together generate a 360 degree view of all objects around the car, which is then displayed on the center screen. It's also important to understand that there is no light or insignia on the mirrors, letting the driver know if there is another vehicle in the car's blind spot, but rather any alerts are all gonna come from this 360 degree view on the left side of the center screen. So the way that the car is going to alert you that there's something in the blind spot is actually pretty straightforward as well. So you can see when you're driving along the highway or on a back road, the view around the car is relatively zoomed in. And then as soon as another car approaches and enters the Tesla's blind spot, you'll see that that view expands to a much wider view. And you can see that car as it enters your blind spot, passes you and then proceeds down the road. So really the main alert that you're getting from your car that there's an object in your blind spot is going to be that expansion of your view. So you're gonna to wanna to look for that move on the left side of your display as an indicator that there is a car in your blind spot. And it's important to note that this is going to be the only alert that the car gives you that there is something in your blind spot. Now, another driver assist feature that you can use is the actual cameras of the car. So if you hit the camera button, it is going to display not only your wide angle rear view camera, but also the rear looking repeater cameras. And these are pretty helpful in terms of looking at the blind spot. Um, but honestly, the center rear camera is gonna give you the widest view and most of what you're gonna to need to see is actually gonna be displayed there first before it even shows up in the repeater cameras. So the repeater cameras are really good at seeing if there's anything directly parallel to you, which are gonna show up in your mirrors anyway, but the rearward facing backup camera is extremely wide angle. So that is gonna display any cars that are in your blind spot. And you can sort of see this as I walk around the perimeter of my car, the repeater cameras on the side really aren't all that helpful for blind spot detection. They're good for looking at things that are directly parallel to your car. But again, those cars are gonna show up right in your mirrors anyway. It's really that backup camera that has that nice wide angle view and is gonna show anything that's potentially in your blind spot. So hopefully you guys can see that the cameras located around the car, as well as the center display, make it pretty easy to check your blind spot before making a lane change. If you do, however, put your blinker on and start to move into a lane where there is another vehicle in your blind spot, it will show up red on that center display screen and also chime to alert you. However, in most cases, as long as you're using the cameras or checking the center display screen, you're always gonna have a fairly good idea of any cars that might be hanging in your blind spots. But with that said, that's actually where we're gonna end today's video. I hope you found it useful and like this more short form type of content. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and also get subscribed so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. But with that said, I'll see you in the next one.